started. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. I'm here in Burnaby, uh, British Columbia, here at the Electric Town Mall, where the big launch for the Omega Swatch uh, Watch collaboration is taking place. Uh, I brought my daughter here. I'm going to interview some of the people here and uh, talk about what's going on. And let's hope that we can keep this thing organized enough that uh, we don't get kicked out of the whole of that enhanced. So that's kind of the point. Oh, we have the tickets over here if you need a ticket. So, uh, what some of these people have done is and it's kind of voluntary, it's not official. They're handing out cards and putting numbers on them in kind of a way of keeping things organized and respectful. Kind of a very Canadian thing to do. Kudos to all these guys because the police have already been around warning people that if it gets kind of out of hand or whatever, they're just gonna send everybody home and I totally agree with that. There's no need for this event to get stupid. It's supposed to be a fun event. And, uh, you know, also an opportunity to get a little piece of history, I guess. But the funny thing is that a lot of people don't realize that this release is a limited release. It's not a limited edition watch. So what that means is that the release of the watch is limited to the flagship stores around the world. And Metro Town happened to be one of them. Unfortunately, I live nearby. So for me to come out here and try to grab a watch was not a problem at all. And again, back to that limited release and limited run. Now, wouldn't that be great if Swatch turns around and releases these watches online tomorrow? Kind of like a big fuck you for all the flippers. <laughs> and I mentioned that to the store manager yesterday when I did my reconnaissance mission. And she laughed and she said that would be epic. Uh, but anyways, if I manage to snag one, uh, I plan on flipping it and hopefully I can get some good money for it and I will get the real Speedmaster because let's face it, that's a real watch where these Swatch watches are kind of wannabes. Uh, no sliding Swatch, they make a great product, you know, but uh, let's be real. The Swatch watch edition of the Speedmaster is not even remotely comparable or anything like a real Speedmaster. And the dollars would show that too, you know, 350 Canadian dollars versus, versus about eight to $10,000, depending on which model you get. I'm a big fan of the uh, professional series, but my budget would probably allow me to get the reduced Speedmaster. But anyway, enough of me, enough of my talking. Let's let uh, this young lady here introduce herself and talk a little bit about what she's seen. What time did you get here, by the way? You're first in line, so you must have got here pretty early. Uh, actually, I come here. Do you want to take the mask off because it's kind of muffly and that? If you're worried, I can stand away. Uh, okay, because I'm not makeup, because I will lie. I think it's around <laughs> 10 hours. Yeah. So 10 hours ago, right now it's what, about 5? So, holy yeah. shit, you got here last night. Like. Uh, no, just... Uh, I come here at 1, 12, uh, 12. Oh, at midnight? Uh, no, no, just at noon. Oh, you've been lining, waiting since noon? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I stay on car or maybe sitting in the McDonald's. Okay, and so when did you actually first have to come to the door and line up? We come here, the first line is uh, at uh, 4 o'clock. So I think it's around okay, so you got you started lining up here at four o'clock. So you were first in line at four in the morning. Yeah, but okay. the security said us we cannot line there until yeah. the morning. Yeah, because yeah. I when I came here yesterday just to do my reconnaissance, uh, I heard that people were parked in RVs waiting to, to line up and that. But yeah. I don't know. I think as Canadians were tend to be a little bit more sensible uh, compared to some other countries where this has gone ape, ape shit crazy. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, like I said, one of the uh, people here decided to try to get organized and they've been handing out cards with numbers and we're going to try and respect this. And uh, I'm number 153, so I give myself a 50-50 chance of getting a watch. My daughter behind the camera here is a number 157. She's got a chance. I hear different numbers on the amount of watches that they're releasing. I've heard 150 pieces in total. Some say no, it's going to be more than that. I've heard as little as 50 pieces. So I really have no idea how many watches that they are actually going to be releasing. And when I came here yesterday asking staff, they couldn't even give me that answer. So is there anything else you'd like to say before I interview any of these other people here? Mm, we start here. 
around 10 because the mall closed at 10. And the police and the security command, they all say it's a good idea we like it. Yeah. yeah. And great. people here are all peace and love. Well, that's the one thing I noticed. There's no cutting off people or budding or, you know, sometimes it gets stupid where you get one person in and then you see 10 of their friends jump in line. There's none of that going on yet, and let's hope it stays that way. Because, like, at the end of the day, it should be a fun, peaceful event, and uh, you know, hopefully, everybody in the lineup gets a watch. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. Good yeah. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for uh, coming on camera here and uh, letting us do this kind of impromptu review or whatever. Okay. So, anyone else like to add anything? Here, let's go over to these gentlemen here. These are one of the. This is the gentleman that's handing out the cards. I don't want to be on camera. Okay. Anyone, anyone want to be on camera? Uh, Puya. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I can see. This guy here wants to be on camera. Come on, here. Go ahead. Are, are you here lined up for a watch? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, what number do you have? Number eight. Number eight. You want to sell it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that kind of stuff might actually happen. I don't know. But anyway, so far, so good. Right now, it is 4.30 in the morning. Is it 4.30 or 5.30? See? This is what happens when you have no uh, loom on a watch. Cheap German watch. Okay, here is a guy that's going to do a plug for his real estate company. No. Nope. Are you a realtor? No. He's a realtor. Oh, you're the realtor. Who a plug? My sister in law is a realtor too. Give yourself a plug. Yeah, go ahead. No. Now, some people are camera shy, as you can see, I'm not really camera shy. Are you camera shy, Dennis? You yes. want to be on camera? I can flip this around. No? Okay. Anyone else want to add anything? No? I'm just going to walk the lineup for you guys so you can see. But the lineup's not really stupid, massive, or anything like that. But anyway, let's walk down to the end here and uh, make ourselves comfortable for the next few hours. Uh, the doors don't open till um, 7.30, but the actual store uh, opens at 10, so... I'm committed here <coughs> for at least uh, five hours or so. All right. Anyway, thank you for your time for, you know, talking on camera and that. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's just walk Hello. the line and take a look. Hi. Yeah, let's see what's going okay. on. Really comfy <laughs> so I'll be uploading this shortly to you guys. I'm not sure it's people. So the earliest person that came here this morning was at uh, around four o'clock in the morning. That's the time I left the house. And uh, yeah, so very peaceful. I thought she said four o'clock p.m. yesterday. Oh, well, she got here at the mall. Uh, at 10. Early, and then she lined Nobody up at Nobody started four. lining up till four in the morning. That's when she actually came to the doors um. and, you know, put her place here. So you can see there are more people here. Um, So there you go. Um, I guess that's enough for now, so you can have an idea. There is a little bit of a lineup. I don't know how much you're going to see of this. It's pretty dark here, but the iPhone's apparently got good uh, night vision. So anyway, that's it. Canadian Watch Monkey signing out for now. Uh, I will update you guys in a couple hours as uh, daylight starts to uh, happen. All right, take care.